my YouTube channel Rolling with Jackie and today I got some content for you. Stay tuned, don't touch that dial. Whoa. Hi everyone, we're going to be making sweet potato pudding. Yes, you're going to need a small piece of yellow yam, three large sized potatoes, the one with the red skin with the white inner side. You're going to need cornmeal, vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, allspice, a can of coconut milk, baking powder, butter, raisins, and brown sugar. Also, flour, all purpose flour for this method. And I'm going to be using the blender method for this one. So now you're going to wash and peel your potatoes, okay, and also your yam. And so for the potatoes to keep their nice um, white color, I went ahead and I added um, some water to a bowl. And as I cut up the potatoes, I'm going to cut them to fit my blender. So make sure, guys, if you're doing the blender method, you cut them up nice and small. If you have a smaller blender, today I'm using the Ninja Blender. So I'm going to cut them to fit. All right. And as I cut them up, I put them in the bowl next to me with the water. Here's the bowl with the water okay and my cut up potatoes do the same for the yam and you can put the yam in a separate bowl with its water now i'm going to go to the dry ingredients today i'm going to be using two cups of the all-purpose flour i'm going to sift the flour so you see me here getting the flour and I'm going to sift that into my bowl. Sift the first one and then repeat. Okay, it's the holidays. I was feeling for something uh, of a comfort, comfort food. That's what this is, comfort food. Sweet potato pudding, mm -mm -mm -mm. it's one of my favorites. So I decided to make it. I've never made it before, guys. I've never made it before. So this is the first time for me and we're doing it together. I decided to share it with you. Now I said one of the ingredients is raisins. You can add that to taste if you'd like. Now we're gonna start off with the allspice. I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of allspice. Okay, let me just uh, move that flour out the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Now these ingredients guys is to taste if you like more cinnamon in yours you can go ahead and add more cinnamon if not that's fine now we're adding another half teaspoon of nutmeg as well now I'm just gonna add quarter teaspoon of baking powder Don't go too crazy with the baking powder, guys, okay? And this is a no-egg pudding. It's no eggs, guys, okay? So if you don't like eggs, here you go. You ask why the yellow yam. The yellow yam helps to hold the pudding together, help to keep the batter nice and, you know, together firm. And cornmeal also does that as well. Some people like to add cocoa yam as well to the to the mix. It's up to you. All right, so I'm gonna whisk those together, my little ingredients here, and now I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. 
Now, if you want a little more salt in yours, you can go ahead and do that. It's up to you. It's all to taste. Now, I like when I'm baking, I taste my batter to see what it tastes like. And if it's missing something, I go ahead and add something more and, you know, give it a whirl and see. I love baking and it's the holidays. So I was invited to Thanksgiving dinner uh, by one of my sisters. And so, hmm. I'm going. I'm bringing the cake, the pudding too. All right, so here's my cornmeal. I'm gonna add like just about a quarter cup of the cornmeal. Don't go too crazy with the cornmeal either. Okay, guys? And I'm going to sift that in to my dry ingredients. I keep saying dry ingredients because the wet ingredients will be your potatoes and you will see as we go along what I mean. All right, so you give that a little whirl and blend everything together. All cinnamony, all that cinnamon goodness and nutmeg, the flavors together. And for the butter, I'm just going to use a half a stick of butter on this one you don't need a whole lot of butter so not a whole not not a whole lot of butter and you need no eggs now here's my light brown sugar and I'm going to use two cups of brown sugar So I'm going to add that into my blender with my coconut milk, half a can of the coconut milk at this turn because I'm feeling that I'm going to blend two sections of these um, cut up potatoes with the yam. All, the, all of it won't fit at once guys, so you got to do it twice. So I went ahead and I put my sugar in. I also put the potatoes in and the yam. Feeling like I could have made them a little bit smaller, but hey, what the heck? It's a ninja. Let's see what you can do, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm adding more potatoes. And I'm going to go ahead and add half a can of that coconut milk. Here we go. Alrighty. So now, all right, a little tip more. Just for giggles. All right, so then we blend. And blend it to be like a nice smooth consistency. Okay, guys? Like a puree. Don't, don't skimp on it. Just blend it. Here's the consistency that we got. Look at that. All that goodness. Right? With your coconut milk and everything. Now, that first thing that I did, you go ahead and repeat. Now I'm going to melt the butter and I put the butter into the wet mixture. So there it is in the wet mixture. And now I'm going to go ahead and combine the wet mixture with the dry mixture. Just giving it a little more whirl, making sure everything looks good. Now, here we go. Pouring it in gradually, guys. Don't go too crazy. You don't want any lumps. So you want to take your time and just pour it in gradually. You're going to see me change from the wisp to um, a spoon in a little bit. Because the mixture was getting a little too 
much for the wisp okay so I'm going to change that and graduate to a spoon now here's my second batter here we go and I'm pouring it into the rest of the flour with the cinnamon that goodness that we just made we pour it in all together all right waste not want not right we're gonna scoop out everything out of this blender and get it all into our little mixing bowl here okay there we go I think I just about got it all mm, all right so there we have it so you're gonna mix that in make sure the consistency is right as I'm mixing it feels right it's not too dry it's not too wet it's just right not a lot of elbow grease looking good I like the way it feels and the way it's looking so you mix that up until it's all mixed together well okay so now I'm thinking about adding my vanilla and such to the mix right about now and um, feels good looks good making sure it's consistently good there goes the spoon standing just to fall a minute there we go that's when you know it's great okay so now here's my vanilla and I'm going to add a half a tablespoon okay so I add one and then I'm gonna add another I actually love vanilla so <laughs> I'm gonna add two for now and if I taste the batter later and it doesn't taste good or it doesn't taste like I want it to then I'm going to add some more so feel free like I said to add to taste how you would like your cake your pudding to taste okay if you want the pudding to taste good you add what you want to add all right so now here are my raisins that's been soaking for my rum cake so please don't tell rum cake okay don't tell it don't tell the rum cake <laughs> Shh. All right, so I took some of the raisins out. I drained off the wine. Of course, I put the wine inside of the batter, true Jamaican style. We have to add some liquor to something, right? All right, so I floured up the raisins. The reason for the flouring of the raisin is not to let them fall to the bottom of the pudding. So you don't want your raisins all falling to the bottom of the pudding, just throwing them in willy-nilly. You're going to add a little flour to them okay and then you add it to the batter so for me I added three cups of raisins then I'm giving it a whirl I know I didn't show you all three cups but I did I added one cup and then I went back again and I added another cup and there you can see all that vanilla it smells so good with all that cinnamon mm. so I have preheated my oven I've got my bacon tin here I put the butter on the bottom of the bacon tin all around it and to the sides and then I floured it okay put a little flour in it then you knock the pan around a little bit and um, spread out the flour nice and evenly okay so now I'm going to go ahead and pour my batter into my baking tin okay why is it not round instead of square well guys 
to each his own. I wanted it square. I'm going to be sharing this up for Thanksgiving and it's easier to share when it's square. Besides, some like the middle of the pudding, some like the end of the pudding, and this way they could get to whatever slice they like easily, right? If it's square. <laughs> All right, so that's my batter in a nutshell. It's all in the pan. Don't forget your oven is preheated. You're gonna bake this for an hour and 20 minutes. Now, halfway through the baking, you're going to take it out and we're gonna add a custard to the top of it to make the top caramelized and look wet and nice and just glistening with all that gooey gooey. And um, in Jamaica, when we used to bake on the coal stove, we would say, Hella bottom, hella top, and hallelujah in the middle. All right. So that's just a little side story. Now we are going to take our foil paper and put it on top. Now, guys, I know I put it on tight. It's not supposed to be tight. It's just a habit of mine when I'm doing stuff to just tighten it. But please put the foil cover on loosely. In the center of the pan try to make like a little bit of a tent when you put it on because when your top starts to bake it's going to come up and it's going to touch on top of the um, foil and make the pudding not bake right so please don't do what I did just do what I say <laughs> I know I'm a preacher now right all right, so I had to get another can of the coconut milk. And then now I get the allspice. We have the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going and the vanilla. We're going to make the custard. Your trusty wisp. And there's also brown sugar added to this batter as well, uh, to this custard as well. All right, here we go. So I used a half a can. That's my confession. However, you didn't have to use so much. Use a quarter can. Okay, so then I'm adding my allspice. I'm adding my cinnamon. I'm adding my nutmeg. allspice there we go and then I'm adding a pinch of salt okay to taste it's about a, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt Don't forget, this is my first time, guys. So we're doing it together. We're doing it together. <laughs> All right, here's my vanilla. We're going to throw that in there, too. Don't put too much. Don't, don't go too crazy. Just uh, add about a half a teaspoon, okay, of vanilla. I'm telling you, the room smells, oh my God, that pudding. Oh, I just want to run to the oven and get it. You know, like on the Titanic, I just want to run to you. All right, let me stop it. Okay, let's get serious. Now you're going to whisk that together. All right, and you're going to wait for your pudding goodness. And don't forget, halfway through, you're going to take the foil off the pudding and put it back into the oven and let it continue to bake without, okay, without the foil. All right, we're going to add about a quarter cup of sugar. Don't forget, if you're making a smaller cake, you um, I mean, I mean a smaller pudding, you don't have to um, use so much coconut milk. 
all right okay so now here is my pudding she looks good smells divine the knife came out nice and clean that means she's baked and now we're going to add the custard to the top okay now you're going to spoon it on take your time all right um jackie back up back up all right there we go guys mm-hmm up do not let it trip over the side please okay don't let it trip over the sides just concentrate on doing it on the top just the top part make it nice all right easy does it put it on nice it's going to give the top that nice gooey gooey that caramelized Okay, so I was telling you the story about the um, hella top and hella bottom and hallelujah in the middle. We would bake it on the coal stove, guys. And we would put coal on the bottom of the, of the pudding. Okay, so we put coal on the bottom. And then we go ahead and put coal on top. And then the hallelujah was the pudding that was in the center. So we put a piece of zinc on top and then we created our own little oven with the coal. So that's just a little side story while I spoon this caramel goodness on top. Mm. We call it custard. All right, there it is. Mm, right about now, I just want to cut it. <laughs> just want to cut it but I can't all right so now we're gonna take it and put it back in the oven and let it bake for another 15 20 minutes and here we go mm -mm. good oh my gosh I love the way it turned out now guys I know you just want to jump and get a piece right no 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 you can't you have to let it sit okay and form and cool you cannot eat it hot like that okay Okay guys, I cut a piece out for you. There it is, nice and firm. I'll let it sit for a little while and form. Here you have it. Your Jamaican sweet potato pudding. And just the way I like it, with raisins in every bite. Now I'm going to have this and read my book right now with a cup of tea. I hope it comes out the same way for you guys. I did go ahead and try the small one and I want to tell you it was scrumptious, absolutely scrumptious. No burning, no nothing. It was wonderful. Okay. Jamaican sweet potato pudding. Huh? See how nice and clean it came out? Wonderful. Okay guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification button.
for whenever I post a video, you'll be notified. Happy holidays. Enjoy Jamaican comfort food. Sweet potato pudding. Mmm.